Back to the Washington dugout, two up and two. Strikeout number three for Reed. Tried to sneak in behind Rendon as this ball is grounded to third. Turner to second for one, to first. Nice pick by Muncie to complete the double play. We head to the fifth in D.C. In the air to right and well hit. Back toward that wall and there she goes. Home run on an 0-2 pitch by Max Muncy. I see the replay, but I think he was trying to go cut her away right there. As you can see, yep, and he missed right over the middle of the park. Is there as that ball is run at third into left center field? Watch this ball, it's off the wall. That's going to score two, and the Dodgers have claimed the lead. Russell Martin with a two run, two out double. In this half inning, well hit again to left. Back to the track, and that is off the wall. The Dodgers will score two more as Taylor comes in on his belly. And the two into left, and this ball well hit. Back toward that wall, and gone. The Dodgers have opened up a can here in the sixth. Turner absolutely hammered this ball. There was never... in game five if there is one that ball is hit well to left and Russell Martin knew it the minute he hit it they got a team in the Dodgers that I think flex her muscles tonight big city Matt Adams pinch hitting and grounding out and that's a one two three ninth for Kenley Jansen and that is a 2-1 series.
felt good. It felt nice to contribute. Um, you know, we've, we've had a good season. Um, we've had guys that we have a deep lineup, so we kind of just passed the baton along, and, and I kind of came up with that big hit right there, got the guys going, and then it just seemed like it was just, you know, one after another, just putting good at bat after good at bat. And next thing you know, we had seven runs on the board. You mentioned the big hit right there, but you got into an 0-2 count. You trying to protect the plate and you battle back. What was the thought process as you come through there then with the huge clutch double? Um, well, uh, our hitting coach talked about our, um, our plan against Corbin. And one of the big things with him is when he gets 0-2 um, and guys scoring position, he doesn't really throw many strikes. He tries to get you to chase. And I remember, I just remember being in the box and thinking about it. Just, you know, be patient, try and see the ball up a little bit. Um, and I got back in account and, he, and uh, made him throw a strike, and I put a good swing on it. No doubt. Now, Russell, you all take a 2-1 series lead. How important was it to get this win tonight as you all get ready to face Max Scherzer tomorrow? I mean, very important. Definitely feels better to be 2-1 than 1-2, um, especially getting that first one on the road. Uh, so it guarantees us a game back home um, at worst. So uh, feels good to get that win, and, and uh, yeah, ready to go. We appreciate the time. Thank you. Your job is not enviable in which you have to come off of a bench and be able to produce right away. What allowed you to have success in that moment? Uh, not letting the count affect my AB. Uh, you know, coming coming off the bench and falling off, falling down 0-2 right away. Uh, not the greatest feeling in the world, but you know, I, I step off. Of the, I got out of the batter's box. I, I took a deep breath and you know, uh, composed myself and. Uh, you know, just foul off a stubborn pitch and, and hit. if he gives you one, hit it, and that's what happened. You, know, you speak about falling behind in the count. I believe to start that sixth inning, Cody Bellinger also behind in the count was able to work himself into that single to get you guys going in the sixth. How big was that sixth inning? You put up seven runs, which seems obvious, but you guys do everything with two out. Yeah, uh, we, we did what we've been doing all year. Uh, it was about showing up and, and showing who we are, and uh, we had a plenty of comeback wins uh, throughout the season, and all we needed was Cody to get a hit, and we could we we could all breathe and and, and get going. And uh, you know we we did a hell of a job. Everybody took it was it was about, it was everybody that that inning. Uh, you know, Russ fell down fell fell down 0-2, uh, huge double. Uh, CT had to grind out that that walk so so that my 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 AB could get there. Uh, you know, after me, you know, uh, once walked and JT with a big fly. I'm John Hartung alongside Ned Coletti, Nomar Garcia Parr, and on this NFL Sunday, the Dodgers put up a touchdown in that sixth inning tonight, and the seven runs they score, that's the most the Dodgers have ever scored in a single inning in their postseason history, and Ned, for a team that really didn't deal with a lot of adversity throughout the regular season because they ran away with the NL West, they were dealing with some adversity coming off a loss in game two, and they bounced back in a big way. And you know what, it's, it's cool, calm, collected is what this team is. You're down a couple runs, you come back, you get one off with Muncie's home run, and then you go to work against that bullpen. That is because of the postseason experience as much as anything else. And they did it with two outs in that inning, yeah. and, and then it really started the change. And hopefully this is something that they were looking for or needed with some of their guys to start getting hot and hopefully get them rolling. Some confidence in there, got some hits. We saw Cody Bellinger get a couple hits out there, but it was good to just see the offense just kind of explode there because yeah. you're waiting for this, and it's, it looked like the starters really had their number. Still way too many strikeouts, but, it's a little, but I like the 10 runs. Max, you get these guys on the board. I know it was difficult to go up ahead uh, against Anibal Sanchez, but you were able to get to them, and all of a sudden you guys unload there in that one inning. What was the key tonight for you? Um, just trying to get something out over the plate. Uh, you know, I definitely think he made a mistake. I haven't looked at it yet, but uh, uh, something tells me he's probably trying to go off the plate away or back door or something, and he missed over the plate and uh, took advantage of it. You guys have never given up all season long. Since you've joined this team, that's kind of been the mantra of this club. When you put up seven runs, all with two out, what does that say about you guys? There's no quit in this team. Uh, you know, we're all, we're all out here to win. We all know what it takes, and uh, we're all willing to do whatever it takes. When you thought that Max Scherzer was going to start this game and then it turned to Anibal Sanchez, how did the approach change, if at all? Uh, it, obviously, it changes a little bit. It's two different, uh, you know, two different repertoires. They're, uh, you know, they're they're out there throwing, but uh, for the most part, it's still trying to prepare for the game. Um, you know, whatever pitch they throw out there, it doesn't change too much. Uh, just you know, what pitches you're looking for. You have an opportunity to uh, win tomorrow and move on to the CS. How nice would that be to get it done here? It'd be great. It'd be fun. Um, 
Levi's Champagne in, uh, in D.C. Okay. Nice job tonight. Thank you, as always, for your time. Thank you. All right, guys.